San Diego's the most expensive city in America and advertisers spend millions of dollars on billboards every single year. For the entire day, I'm gonna be buying every billboard ad I see to determine if it lives up to the hype. Starting with this, pumpkin for brunch at the Broken Yolk Cafe. Me personally, I love pumpkin and this caught my eye right off the bat. And we're gonna go see how good it is and see if it's worth having its very own billboard. Let's go. I'm gonna be ranking every advertisement that I buy on a tier list based on the design of the billboard, the time it took to get there, and as well as the quality of the product itself. So we're just posted up here in a Ford dealership parking lot just to get a good shot of the billboard, but I typed in Broken Yolk on Maps and we're actually five minutes away, which is actually pretty close, so that's pretty clutch. All right, I need some pumpkin spice coffee right now, I'm not gonna lie. We made it to the Broken Yolk. We're gonna ask for the pumpkin for brunch. They're already getting festive here, bro, I love it. Like the video right now if you think Christmas is the best time of year. That's all me. Hi, how are you? Do you guys still have the pumpkin for brunch? Yeah. Okay, perfect. I saw the billboard like five minutes away. I had to come. So they made a whole billboard, but I don't think they even put it on their menu, bro. Wait, what? Spiked cinnamon toast cereal milk? Is that a part of it? That wasn't on the billboard though. The top one is. Yeah, the pumpkin spice latte was on but it. But not cereal milk. It's just for the design. I'm not actually taking it, guys, okay? There we go. Yo, hold up. With the straw? Come on. This is perfect, bro. I'm excited to try it. Noah, your hot one? Honestly, I've been loving hot coffee lately, but the ice just looks better. So I'm gonna take this. Mm-hmm. That is so good, bro. Oh my gosh. It's melting from how hot it is, bro. Hold up. Look at this. The festivity. It just feels wrong because it's like not Halloween anymore. Perfect timing. Thank you so much. Hey, we recreated the billboard. Dude, that smells so good. You think it's gonna burn me? hundred percent. Okay, going straight for the whipped cream. Whoa. Do you like pumpkin spice? Yeah, I love it. That's insane. I don't know if the billboard had syrup, but we're drenching that one. Oh yeah. What a great way to start off the video. Dude, it's drowning in the syrup. Look at that. Cheers, guys. That just can't be real. Oh yeah. Oh, good. Bro, you really look like Timmy Turner. In a good way, in a good way, bro. It's so hot. They already got the Christmas art on the windows. They're playing Christmas music right now. Design on the billboard caught my eyes. Food, drink, service, everything was good. We're going with the A tier. Start it off. All right, Korea in color. The San Diego Museum of Art. October 28th through March 3rd. We are in that time frame right now. So we're gonna hit up a museum. I mean, if they have a billboard for it, it's gotta be sick. All right, guys, we're pulling up to the museum right now. It took about 20 minutes to get here so the billboard itself was actually pretty far these dogs bro oh my god two little lolas running around dude the buildings here just make you feel like you're in a different country we're getting into the holiday spirit guys we got rudolph up front of course santa in the sleigh come on hey balboa park is actually fire just to like walk around there's museums there's art they have it all here we got texas chainsaw massacre just you know whipping it up nice to meet you oh for real yeah do we look the same i think so low key let me know we look good we just pulled up to the San Diego Museum of Art. It's exactly what we saw on the billboard. The last time I actually came here was in fifth grade. This is where we came for our field trip, so I want to see if I remember it. What was that? Really? Ah, uh, whoa, so bright out here. All right, guys, well, we couldn't film in there, but you could take photos. Noah, watch your step, you beautiful soul. But I'm gonna pop up all the pictures we took in there. Honestly, the art was super cool. The employees were really cool, but it always sucks when you're not allowed to film in places, but we gotta respect the rules. I'm gonna give the experience itself a C tier. I don't really like going to museums, to be honest. We spotted an ad on the road. It's not a billboard, but it's at a bus stop. We got Carl's Jr. California Classic Small Combo, $5.99. It looks delicious on this poster, but is it gonna look like that in real life? So a small combo includes a double burger, small fry, and small drink. I'm gonna actually look it up right now how close Carl's Jr. is to this bus stop. Right there. I was literally about to say, it's a four minute walk. Looks like the placement of the ad, perfect. Right across the street from Carl's Jr. Me and Noah made it a three minute walk. You know how we do. Hi, how are you guys? My mom called you. Wait, no way. And the dentist. That's you? Yeah. Wait, what are the chances of that? Play that clip. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. 
Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. The ad made it on the window. California class combo, $5.99. Oh, didn't read the plus tax, but it's all good. I just want it to look like that and I want it to taste good. You know why I'm here. The devil guacamole burger? No, not that. California classic combo. Bro, these, oh my gosh. As a kid, I would always slam those. $6.45. $6.45, not bad. Thank you so much. I freaking love Dr. Pepper, okay? But the ad looks like it was a Coke. I need to see all my Dr. Pepper lovers in the comment section. If they could sponsor me, I'd be the happiest person of all time. All right, Coke. Now we wait for the food. Got the fries, of course. Oh, Carl's Jr. fries do hit. See how it looks. Ooh, it's a double. Wait, that Loki looks fire. It's kind of smushed from the bottom. But let's get a comparison of the photo of the ad versus reality. Taste test. That's actually really good. I think it doesn't obviously look exactly the same, but the taste is not bad. I don't know what it is with Carl's Jr., but their burgers have that Carl's Jr. burger taste, if that makes sense. If I was blindfolded right now and taste tested this, I would know it's from Carl's Jr. French fries, super good. Ice cold coat. I'm going with a B tier. I don't know how old this is here, guys, but back in the day, you could buy a burger for 35 cents, cheeseburger, 45 cents, a junior burger for 25 cents. You could walk in with a quarter and get a burger. Dang, the 40s. Oh, what is that one? Medicinal. You can't yeah, do that. Yeah. Can't do that one. All right, we've seen three of these billboards in the last five minutes. Yo! Yo! I'm filming! There's this Boot World ad. It says Wolverine. They look pretty cool. I've never owned a pair of boots, but it says they're waterproof. So I think that'd be a pretty cool test. We made it. Boot World. I'm excited because I've actually never been here, so I feel like I might start wearing boots now. You never know. Hi. This is my first time here. I just saw a billboard and it really caught my eyes. Okay, Mom, this one, which is waterproof. Yes, this is the exact one we saw on the ad. I have a soft toe. Soft toe? It's the same boot, it just doesn't have steel toe. This is the exact one on the billboard. The other one was darker. Do you think I could rock this with this fit right here? Yeah. You think it matches? Brown matches everything. All right, we might have to check out here. Can I get a size nine? You might have just put me onto something here. All thanks to your billboard. Oh, I also forgot to mention that it took us five minutes to get here from the billboard. So pretty close. The left goes to the right and the right goes to the left. Okay, 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 you God. You did like an X. You did it wrong. Oh my gosh, I can't do anything right. Look. Can I just give you that for being Are amazing? You sure? Yes, please. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding. Are you sure? Yes, okay. thank you for the help. You so You're much. amazing. I'm officially a boot owner. Let me step in these real quick. Hold up. You can't keep up? You think I can rock it with this fit right here? I think so. Come on, G. Wait, boots are actually mad comfortable. We're gonna do the spill test real quick. See if they're waterproof for real. Hey. Okay, okay. They just come right off, bro. Hold up. Loki, I might have to keep rocking these the whole day. I'm going with an A tier. I think it would actually be sick if we found an ad on a truck. I don't know how doable that is, but I've seen them on the road in the past, so we'll see if we can actually spot one. I see a truck right there. It says something about same day. Let's go check it out real quick, huh? Heating and air conditioning. Same day or you don't pay? Oh, nice little slogan right there, huh? All right, well, I don't need heating or air conditioning. Oh, I see one. Want to sell your car? No. Receive up to 110% Kelly Blue Book value. And it's a Toyota dealership. I actually really like that. What do you think? Want to sell your car? Well, I don't want to sell it, but I want to see if it lives up to the ad. If you can actually get 110% more than Kelly Blue Book would value. I'm going to type in all the information on this car on Kelly Blue Book, which is a place that quotes how much you could sell your car or trade it in for or get cash for. If the ad is true, then at the Toyota dealership, they'll give me up to 110% more. All right, guys. So I just put in the VIN number, the mileage, everything about my car. It says my trade-in value is 169529 $9, and that's on Blue Book. When you look up there, receive up to 110% Kelly Blue Book value. So we're going to see if the Toyota dealership will offer me more than that number. We're not going to tell them what we got. We're going to just try to do it all legit. A salesman came out to check out the car for an appraisal, which pretty much means the condition of my car. We went back inside and after talking to him for a little, he explained to me that they wouldn't be able to give me an offer for the car. We're not in the market for something like your vehicle. It's just a little too expensive for what our store operates on. Which in this case is totally understandable. It would not be smart for them as a business to take a car like this in. I couldn't get an accurate quote for the car, but they were very nice, honest, and welcoming, so I still rank this billboard an A tier. Bro, what is that? Oh, pokey one and half. 
All right, driving around San Diego all day. I'm getting hungry again. And we got pokey one and a half fresh fish. It took about three minutes to get here from the billboard, right? So far, I feel like every billboard except the museum one has been within a reasonable range. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Oh, do we start over there? Okay, okay, okay. First timer, you know. Can I do white rice, minced lobster, and spicy tuna? Me and Noah were chatting off camera a little bit, and I asked him if they had Albuquerque tuna. That's in New Mexico. Can you, can you tell him, like, that's probably, like, a pretty dumb statement to make, right? Okay, is it bad that I confused albacore with Albuquerque, or is that normal? No, that's not pretty similar. Appreciate it. Noah, we got your Calpico. All right guys, so I got spicy tuna, minced lobster on white rice, green onion, and spicy mayo, bro. Spicy mayo goes crazy. Here we go. Mm-hmm, that actually hits. I hardly get pokey, but this is definitely one of the better places that I've ever tried. It's actually cool seeing that they got a billboard because usually you'll see like bigger places like McDonald's, Carl's Jr. It's cool getting their name out there like this. This is fire. This is very rare for this to happen this late into the video, but we got the first S tier, bro. This deserves it so much. You may have spotted another one right there. Unbox memories together. Share happiness. Pocky. It looks like the chocolate flavor too. Sadly, we gotta get the chocolate flavored Pocky. I usually like strawberry, but we gotta stay true to the ad. You good? No. Why? Read that billboard. Yeah, why are you sad? I thought size didn't matter. Wait, they have a K-pop store in here? What the heck? You guys got Pocky? It's like the snack section. Perfect, thank you. Okay, hold on, this is actually, ooh, here it is. I was gonna say they only have strawberry, but hidden here was the chocolate one. Hold up, okay. Such a great snack, man. When I'm gaming at night, this is what I want next to me. A tier. Bro, really? Guys, it's crazy because right when Noah hit record, that happened. All right, we found one called the Pick Me Up Perfected Mile One Coffee. Gas station coffee, bro. And as you can see, they have a mascot. They actually put a lot of time and effort into this billboard. And it looks like he is holding a sausage and egg biscuit along with a banana and a coffee. So we're going to head over to the Extra Mile gas station and get exactly what we saw. Why is their mascot Loki look like Grimace? Get your own mascot, bro. Oh, it stopped. I was putting it down and it's Took us about one minute to get here. So perfect billboard placement. What do we start with here? Where is the banana? Do you guys have like the sausage egg sandwich? Is it? Oh yeah, no, it's not that. Do you guys have bananas? <gasps> no bananas either. Okay, I guess we're here for the coffee. They advertise the coffee. Was it black coffee? Okay, we didn't see inside the cup. They got the coffee creamer, French vanilla, mocha. There's actually a nice coffee setup. Sip the season. I like it. We're nearing the end of the day, so we're going to go French vanilla. Ooh, that smells so good. Wow. Oh, ow. I'm already not liking this ad, bro. <laughs> I literally just burned myself. I don't know why. Wait, wait, what is in there? Isn't it supposed to go away by now? It's a couple of floaties. That'd be good, guys. Should I remake it? No, uh, I think you gotta keep that, bro. All right, all right, all right. Relax, bro. You're really getting on my nerves today. All right, no banana, no sausage egg sandwich, but... Oh, it's him. Your coffee, your way. I mean, Brody spoke facts. Thank you. not bad bro for a dollar 79 this will get you through the day i think it's fire you can put any creamer you want any type of coffee i think this is an a tier all right guys so on the way home i saw a billboard for an animal charity and you know it just reminded me of my beloved bosley's passing still a very tough time for me and my family but it made me really want to help other animals out there around america so i do want to make a large donation to hope for paws which is an animal rescue charity i don't know if that was the same one on the billboard we kind of just recorded it as we were driving by real quick, but anything that I can do to help any animal out there, I would love to. It really means a lot how much Bosley meant to all of you guys, so hopefully by me doing this, I can help a dog in need find that same love Bosley had and a deserving home.